Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I've decided that I'm going to make just a quick video today because as you can see, lovely British weather. I've got around three, yeah, three cars started at the moment. Still the Audi A6, my brother's car, the Volvo and the Mazda 6. But to be honest, I don't want to lay underneath the car in this condition, this weather. Neither I want to set up the tent in the gazebo. So I'm going to talk a little bit about as you can expect from the title of the video, yeah, German premiums like Audi, Mercedes, BMW, especially on Audi in this case. And the topic is going to be about this. So here, yeah, let me tell you what that is. It is the oil drain plug from a 2018 Audi A5 uh, 2 liter petrol. And let me tell you why I want to talk about it because this is a plastic drain plug coming from plastic oil pan which is I would say if this, if it's like Audi is considered a German premium or like a luxury brand there is nothing to do or has, shouldn't be there in, in the oil pan first of all so the problem is this one you can only use so many times i don't know i wouldn't reuse it even once because i had this is the second time i see it actually like a plastic drain plug i've seen it on on a, on a ford i don't know what ford is that but i've seen that and the problem is that was leaking because it was reused so it had to change guess how much this costs this is i think it was 650 or 7 pounds from the local uh, eurocar parts gsf so I've got a friend who works in a Volkswagen dealership and he says he likes it. I can understand why, because he said you cannot over tighten them. I mean, technically you can if you are too crazy about it, but it has um, a little pin here. So it stops there. So that's the final position. You basically cannot really over tighten it. But if you want to argue, you may need to use a special tool or a screwdriver like a flathead i use the flathead to remove it and put back the new one but yeah basically you would need a special tool for it so yeah you cannot over tighten it that's uh, that's like one side of the story and from his standpoint he doesn't really care because the client the client pays for it but i asked him what if that would be your car so how, how happy that you would be if you have to replace it every oil change um 60 650 or seven pounds because by the way, I've done on that car uh, a major service, which here in the UK consists of um, oil change and all the filters. So I replaced the oil, cabin, air. I didn't replace the fuel because that's an in-tank fuel, not inline, but in-tank fuel filter. And I also changed the spark plugs. So, whereas this costs 657 pounds, just a regular crush washer costs <laughs> maximum but i'm exaggerating here maximum two pounds so yeah that that is my issue everything is plastic the car and also like a lot of people because i do a lot of mazdas and you are asking me like like how good their mazdas are should i buy them should i keep them and I, I i stand by my opinion like yes they are good cars good engines you have to maintain and yet you will be spending like if something comes up, you're spending a big, big money on them. But if you have a German premium, that would be spending three times of the of the amount. And let me show you. Let me switch the camera and show you something. So that is intake manifold from a 2.2 Sky Active. And my friends, that's metal. So the same manifold, like the intake manifold, on these cars, on the Audi, BMWs. I've got BMW. I don't have experience with Mercedes, but I guess it's the same. They are plastic. Also, another one I've got here, um, the Volvo. Um, uh, yeah, that one. Let me show you. Plastic. So yeah, everything is plastic on these German luxurious cars. And the, the, the car, I think it had, like definitely had below 60,000, I don't know, maybe 52, 55,000 miles on the clock. I'm not 100% sure on it. Um, but what I noticed, and it is a common fault, because I spoke with my friend uh, who works for a, a VM Volkswagen dealership, 
and the thermostat because the, the the owner noticed that the coolant is slowly slowly disappearing but not a lot so i pressure tested it and also done the head gasket uh, test it didn't come back as a as a faulty head gasket and it was holding like pressure or like very slight leak but i couldn't see it where from and then i when i removed the plastic under tray when i was changing the oil I could see uh, spots of the pink coolant on the oil pan but only on one side and I, I traced it where it was coming from and I noticed that on that side is the thermostat slash water pump because it is a one unit and yeah I contacted my friend asked him if he knows about it and he said yeah it's a common fault and the car is only so it's 2018 model maximum six years old and it already has like leak and let me tell you how much that would cost that is 1200 pounds so 1200 pounds job labor and uh, parts included like uh, roughly if it's an if you get it done in audi or wherever else again you can argue you can get the part for lower a fee for cheaper i think the part is around 500 pounds that's oem and yeah you can argue you can get it for 300 maybe more maybe less it's up to you since I had a very similar experience with that Peugeot, which is still haunting me, when I replaced the thermostat, coolant pipe was leaking, which I wanted to avoid in the first place. So then I had to go and buy directly from Peugeot OEM. So yeah, I would only do that with OEM part. And yeah, it's expensive and the car like has very low mileage. One more thing about it, like I love it when because here in the UK, I don't know where you are, when you are from, who are, who are watching this video, here in the UK, when you type in your register number to a local like part stores, you want to get a part, so you can type in your register number and it shows the model, and it shows the model as 40 TFSI, which <laughs> is so funny to me, like for a 2 litre engine, which is maximum 200 horsepower, it is, it is considered as a 40 TFSI that's that's mind-blowing and that's not not the worst I've seen I had one uh, someone ha having an Audi I think it was a1 and on the back it was saying t t 30 TFSI or 3.0 TFSI and I thought do they do like three liters on these these small a1s is it an s1 or what what that is I opened the the bonnet and I seen only three cylinder engine and then I asked her what that is, she said, it's a one liter. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they put a 30 TFSI on the back of a one liter engine, which is like, I don't know, I would, I would say it's a shame. Like, I don't know where, where we are going. And like, the point of this whole video is the planned obsolescence. Like, don't tell me it's not intentional. The, this plastic piece of shit, they, they're putting it into the new engines. They want everything just to go bad the quicker it can so they can make more money out of you it's 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 mind-blowing to me like <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know what to say so basically this video was about it again it started raining i don't know how much you can say or how much you can see from it doesn't really matter what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the tesco express get three pack Peroni, a beer for myself. Turn on, edit this video first, then turn on Netflix and watch something, because I haven't done that in a very long time. And yeah, I haven't had a single day off in I don't know, maybe last three, four months. I was just constantly working. So yeah, I'm going to get not drunk, but maybe tipsy, tiny bit, and hopefully I won't order anything like any bigger purchases when I'm on it and then I'll watch something and yeah this will be this will be my day today and tomorrow very likely the weather will be better like uh, hopefully the weather will be better and I can work because I've got a lot to do so yeah thank you very much guys for watching this video this rant if you will and yeah see you very soon in the next one until then take care and bye bye